Now please see the another variety of questions in this beautiful topic. Now see here sir. Your question is. A liquid P is 9 by 7 times as heavy as water. That means can I say that they are saying that liquid P is 9 by 7 times as heavy as water. Or I can also write this as P divided by water is 9 by 7 or in simple language I can also write it as liquid P is the first parameter, water is the second parameter. If there are 9 liters of liquid P then the water will be 7 liters, right? Then the water will be 7 liters. This is the meaning of the first statement. Continue the statement sir. And water is 12 by 7 times as heavy as another liquid Q. Water is 12 by 7 times as heavy as another liquid Q. Now, what will be Q in this case? Q will be 7 by 12 times of water. But how much is water? We took the water value as 7. Substitute. This is 7 by 12 times of 7. So, Q value will be, it is 7 into 7, 49 divided by 12. That means, if liquid P contains 9 liters, then water will be 7 liters and liquid Q will be 49 by 12 liters. But I hate solving by using fractions which you are aware of. I don't like using fractions. I don't want this 12 in the denominator. Multiply the entire thing by 12. 12 into 9 is 108. 12 into 7 is 84. 49 by 12 into 12 is 49. That means I can rephrase my question as if liquid P is 108 liters, then liquid Q will be 49 liters provided water will be 84 liters. Now think little logically sir. Read the question once again. Liquid P is 9 by 7 times as heavy as water. That means you are comparing P with water. Similarly, second statement says, water is 12 by 7 times as heavy as another liquid Q. You are comparing Q with again water. That means, who is that one person who is the intermediate of liquid P and Q in this case? That person, water, that person called as water is there with P also. The same person, water is also there with liquid Q. That means, the person who is the intermediate person or the resultant person for both the other two people, P and Q, is nothing but water. That should be the resultant value. That means, if P is 108, then liquid Q will be 49 and water will be how much? 84. This will be the resultant. If I take, if I allocate P by Q ratio is nothing but 49 minus 84. It is minus 35. 84 minus 108. It is minus 24. Minus by minus is positive. So, I did not write those two negative signs. So, P is to Q. P is to Q is nothing but 35 is to 24. Read the next statement, sir. We have not completed our entire question. How many liters of liquid Q must be mixed to 70 liters of liquid P so that the mixture may weigh as much as an equal volume of water? That means, how many liters of liquid Q must be mixed to 70 liters of liquid P? That means, according to the ratio, 35 liters of liquid P is mixed with 24 liters of liquid Q. But question says, liquid P should not be 35 liters. It should be 70 liters. 35 into 2 is 70. 24 also multiply by 2. Beautiful way of solving by A and C, which will help you realize how a difficult question can be tackled in the most easiest way possible. I hope each and every student who is listening to the class should be extremely and supremely clear about all the concepts what we are discussing, sir.
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन अनदर क्वेश्चन फॉर यूर बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग अनदर क्वेश्चन फॉर यूर प्रैक्टिस विच इज एक्सैक्टली सिमिलर टू माई प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन सी द क्वेश्चन प्लीज योर क्वेश्चन इज ए लिक्विड पी इज फिफ्टीन बाई एट टाइम्स एज हेवी एज वॉटर सो पी इज फिफ्टीन बाई एट टाइम्स एज हेवी एज वॉटर दिस कैन बी रिटर्न एज पी बाई डब्ल्यू इज फिफ्टीन बाई एट दट मीन्स इफ आई टेक पी वैल्यू एज फिफ्टीन देन वॉटर वैल्यू विल बी एट दट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ इट कंटिन्यू फर्दर एंड वॉटर इज 20 by 13 times as heavy as another liquid Q. Again, the intermediate person here is water. Water is 20 by 13 times as heavy as Q. Water value I substituted here as 8. 8 is equal to 20 by 13 times of Q. That means 2 into 4 is 8. 2 into 10. Or four into two is eight. Four into five. This is better. So Q will be equal to twenty six by five. That means in simple language, if P is having fifteen rupees, then W will have eight rupees in his pocket, and Q will have twenty six by five rupees in his pocket. Hold on, sir. I did not like that word called as twenty six by five. It's a fractional value. I hate it. It's a fractional or a decimal value. Convert to whole number, multiply by five. Fifteen into five is seventy-five. Eight into five is forty. Twenty-six by five into five is twenty-five. That means, in simple language, once again, I can say that if P is having seventy-five rupees, then Q will have twenty-six rupees. The intermediate person W, which is playing a role with both P and Q, will have forty rupees. That means. P if it is seventy five, Q will be twenty six, W will be forty, which is the resultant. Now, what is the question? How first of all, let us find P by Q ratio. Then we will read the question. Twenty six minus forty is minus fourteen. Forty minus seventy five is minus thirty five. So it is minus by minus plus. It is fourteen is to thirty five. The meaning of fourteen is to thirty five is nothing but what is the meaning of fourteen is to thirty five? Yes, I can further simplify, right, sir? Seven into two and seven into five. Right, it is two is to five. The meaning of two is to five is if P is contributing two rupees, then Q will contribute five rupees. Or in simple language, let me read the question. You will understand it better. How many liters of liquid P must be mixed to twenty-two point five liters of liquid Q? So that the mixture may weigh as much as an equal volume of water. That means. How many liters of liquid P must be mixed to 22.5 liters of liquid Q? That is according to question. According to the ratio, two liters of liquid P is mixed with five liters of liquid Q. But question says it should not be five liters of liquid Q. It is 22.5 liters of liquid Q. Five should become 22.5. Multiply by 4.5. 5 into 4.5 is 22.5 only. 2 also multiply by 4.5. 4.5 into 2. Answer for this beautiful question is 9 liters. I hope the idea should be very clear for you, sir. There are varieties of problem that we are solving in allegations. So many different varieties of problems is what we are solving in allegations. I believe you are understanding each and every model. That is very very important for you people.